While in Sewer Gems, let's take a look at Conduit CO-1 and we can see that the notes field is filled out. And then if we go ahead and export this project to an EPA Swim version 5 file, and then open up that file in EPA Swim, we can take a look at that same link and see that there is nothing entered for the description field. And so we want to get those notes converted over to the description field. So we'll create a flex table for conduits, and it'll contain three different attributes. We need the ID, label, and the notes. Once we have that information in the flex table, we can select all of the data, right click and select copy. And then in Excel, we can paste that information. We'll adjust the column width. And then we'll sort the information in ascending order based on the ID, because that is the order that EPA SWIM will have the information in. And now we need to massage the data a little bit. We'll subtract 0.5 from each of the IDs. You'll see why in just a minute. And then in the next column, we'll prefix the notes from Sewer Gems with a semicolon. And then we'll fill the series below it. And we'll copy that modified data and paste it in the first empty cell below our previously pasted information. We can delete this unnecessary information and now we need to open up the INP file with a notepad or text editor and we'll select the conduit information, copy it, Go back into Excel and paste that information, aligned and in the same order with our previously pasted uh, data. We want to use delimited without headers. We'll delimit it by spaces. And we can delete the duplicate column. Now we'll select all of our data and sort by column A in ascending order. This will put the notes before the respective element. We'll copy that information and paste it directly into the INP file while in the text editor. save that file. And now we can go back into EPA Swim, open up that IMP file that has been modified, and as you can see, the conduits now include the notes from Sewer Gems.